I first heard about it um, after I'd gone in for a routine visit at my physician and they found uh, elevated liver levels. And they had me talk to um, a doctor there at the clinic and uh, he explained to me what it possibly could be because uh, I didn't have all the diagnostic work done yet. But uh, he mentioned that since I didn't have any kind of viral infection, it was probably um, a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The way I heard about NASH was when I actually, um, my ammonia levels, I didn't realize I was sick. And uh, my ammonia levels shot up so high that I ended up passing out and they took me to the hospital. And when I was in the hospital, they came back and told me that um, I was in liver failure and that I had NASH, you know, the non-alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, and I had no clue what it was, honestly. I didn't, you know, I thought liver disease came from, you know, hepatitis C and, and or, you know, uh, other, other forms like drinking. I had no clue. A few years, well, maybe 20 years ago, I had my gallbladder out. And at that time, the doctor told me that I had a fatty liver. And I thought to myself, well, what does that mean? And there was really no discussion about what does it mean to have a fatty, have a fatty liver? What could you be doing about it? And I knew that I was overweight, and I could see that, that you know, I was overweight, so I could see the fat in my body or my face, but I never really thought that my liver was fat.